Memphis Meats is okay that you have a bacon obsession, they just don't want you to kill a pig to get it. The company was founded by three scientists who have successfully used stem cells from cows, pigs, and other animals to create meat. That's right, the beef in this video didn't come from a dead cow. The company brought in Chef Dave Anderson to prepare the meatball for taste testing, and it looks like they did a pretty good job. It tastes like a meatball. It's good. CEO Uma Valetti says that the meatball takes a third of the energy to create versus traditional methods, and that it produces 90% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. That's a really big deal considering that animal agriculture is one of the biggest polluters and thus contributors to global warming. Memphis Meats isn't the only company trying to get into the meat growing business. There are also competitors named Mosa Meat and Modern Meadow hoping to one day sell lab grown meat. If you want to start your own lab grown meat company, you better have two M's in the names or else you're, you will not make it. It's still unclear as to whether this meat would be okay for stricter vegans to eat because it's still made from meat cells. Though if no animal has to die, it's healthier and doesn't impact the environment, then what's the problem? Let's look at some comments. Bill Sanders, it's about time. Finding grass-fed and finished meat without hormones and antibiotics is very difficult and expensive. Cy Lanford, People will do anything for money, including playing God. Rwat5931, people were very angry at pink slime meat at McDonald's. I want my meat coming from a farm, not from a test tube. This is just mad science going too far. What do you guys think? Would you eat lab grown meat? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more What's Trending.